this, I'm no good. I'm good for nobody and nothing. How, how can I love them if I don't love myself? How, how, how? Fear puts you in a place that all the fingers are pointing your way. But I got news for somebody tonight. There's good news for the child of God. Romans chapter 8 says, For we have not received the spirit of bondage or the spirit of fear again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption where we can cry out, Abba, Father, I have no fears around, I know it's creeping around, but I have not been adopted, I have not been bought by the spirit of bondage, but I've been bought with the price, the spirit of the Lord, which Christ said to me, Abba, Father, for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind if you can't love you got fear you better, you better cast out the fear and you say I got the spirit of power love and sound mind 1 John says there is no fear in love there is no fear in love, but perfect love. Cast it out. It shuts the door. It kicks it in the butt. Amen. Because fear has torment. And he that feareth is not made perfect in love. <laughs> the apostles or the disciples, they were in darkness. Confused. Hopelessness. Because of fear. Can you imagine? All right, he's done with. They hung him high. I heard the knocking of the wood in the nail. I saw the soldier just pierce him. He could barely hold his head up. And all he said, Lord, forgive them for they do not know what they do. And they saw him in the last breath. And they knew what was what was prophesied and what was told is now dead. Have you been in a situation where they say good stuff and all of a sudden you see it die? It dies before your eyes. And the Bible said what they aspired and what they saw and what they were taught. Their teacher, their master, their Lord is now dead. Not alive like he said he would, dead. Not victorious like he said he would, but dead. Not full of joy, not full of peace, not happy all the time, but dead. So these guys decide to pack up. And instead of being encouraged, they get attached to the spirit of fear, of discouragement. They go home and they lock the doors. Lock it up. They lock up the doors. Shut the windows. Bring the curtains down. Nobody makes sure nobody knows we're around. Because our preacher is dead. The one that walked on water is dead. The one that said to the demon, be cast out, is now dead. The one I believed in is dead now. I'm full of fear. And instead of preaching to each other and encouraging each other, they're talking fear, fear after fear after fear. All they could do is remember every sermon they gave and see no good result but dead. Instead of praying for each other and encouraging each other and rebuking every spirit of your day, they accepted defeat. Because the one that said that was going to come and liberate them is now dead. Have you ever been in a situation where you just drop and you start locking every door in your life? You just stop and, and, and then you, you, you know you know you ought to go to church, but you just lock down and you start skipping service after service. And then and, and you say, well, you know, it's online, so let's just press a button and I just lock up every door. Because let me tell you the truth to online service. I know many people think it's 
good, but they're going to get too comfortable. Amen. You know, the thing with online service, if you can't sit in a service, how are you going to sit on an online service? Because when you're online service, you know what you're still doing? You're still making fried bread, beans, tomato, and then you're trying to say a hallelujah, amen, once in a while. that you can do your business and try to give some business to God. You know what? You better put three, four, five masks on, however mask you need to, and enter the house of the Lord. And then some of y'all don't even see it. You just turn it on. Leave it on the chest or the church. While you do your business, run the by this. Run to town and turn around and serve the still Lord. Anyway, what do, they, what do they say? Anyway, we can see it later. We can read why. Yeah, that's the problem with online service. So, so the disciples lock themselves inside because they're scared. Everything they talked about, preached about, where Todd is now about to collapse, or it's collapsed because he's dead. Have you ever been in a situation where things are just dying? Your ministry's dying? What you thought they prophesied that I was gifted this and that and gifted the other is now dying. My seal, my passion is dying. Amen. I love to come to the house of the Lord, but now I'm paralyzed.
man, we ain't got enough for what that, that taco fry bread or whatever that looks good and it's screaming to you. You don't know what to do but ignore it, but you can't ignore it. You ain't got nothing here nor there, but put it on the list. Yeah. And when you get comfortable with God, that's what we tell him sometimes. Put it on the list. I'll praise you double tomorrow. And then when tomorrow comes, you forgot to give him the first dose. You're having trouble with the first dose. But if you need your eye, that's when it don't be tomorrow. And we get comfortable. But sometimes when we get so comfortable, God's got to bring us down. He's, he said, I got to bring it down. I gotta, in other words, he was saying, I need to you to decrease uh, for I can increase. Uh, I need to bring it on down uh, for I can get a little better and bigger in your life. Uh, see, you got to understand that everything that happens in my life is not for his benefit. It's for my benefit. Because it's through whatever God's plan is, I grow. We're going to hide. 